Jim Pierce. This is a video with three guitar exercises. I took the third one, which is a little down the line in the video, and I tried to incorporate it into a piece of music. It's basically a string skipping exercise. There are a couple more, one for speed picking, and one that's kind of freaky to try and get right. Anyway, Aiden Scrivens brought over these three exercises. We go through them quickly, and uh, with any exercise, it's kind of easy to get started, but the idea is to try and make it smooth, uniform, and bring it up to speed while not compromising and creating any blemishes or artifacts, trying to make it keep it perfect. It's almost like guitar therapy. Click the link below if you want to check out the masterclass. We're up to over a thousand videos and over a hundred hours of content. Saturday morning cartoon and someone just got knocked out. <laughs> I have so much consonants in my life, I crave dissonance. <laughs> Aiden, I like this exercise because it's easy to get into. Yeah. No exercise is easy to do because if you do it right, right, it's challenging. Just getting the picking even, getting everything connected, to make sure it's smooth, yeah. uniform. That's the idea. And then speeding it up tempo-wise. Uh, those are all challenges and they never go away. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's one of those things too, because you have to make sure, because it's, it's not too difficult on the hands, but as soon as you start going, oh, I could do this, and you start going as fast as you can, if you're not thinking, you're losing track of different things that are important to keep steady yeah. and consistent. Yeah. So I find it's easier for me if I pick them all. Right. But the challenge is to do less over here and go... Okay. And hammer on and pick. Pick right. half as much and hammer on. Right, and it's crazy because it's one of those things that you're combining those two disciplines that your brain doesn't really want to combine. <laughs> you know, you have that, because when you're going, when you're playing, I don't know, 16th notes or 8th notes, your, ha your right hand wants to go the same speed as your left, right, right. you know? Well put. Yeah. And, and so it's, it's a good way of keeping the alternate picking. It's always down, up, down, up but it, this is going half the speed of this, and yes. it's a little bit of a, a weird thing to get your head around. Well, show it to everybody. Yeah. Show, show, let's, this is the actual exercise. So the, I first saw this, um, da, uh, David Pinozo has a great blog with cool like exercises and things, so go check that out if you want more stuff like this. But it's, it's a variation on that old, you know, the spider exercise that everyone learns. That... Okay. And so you start off, but you sort of split it in between two strings. So what we're playing is fret one, fret two, and then we go up to the A string to fret three and fret four. And that's the pattern that continues all the way up. And then when we get to the top, we slide up and we go like five, four, and then down a string, three, two. And that's the pattern going down. And but we slide up each time. Yeah, got it. So, but you're, you're picking the first note, hammering the second, yeah. And then, so the first note is a down pick. Yeah. Hammer on. And the second and then, string, <laughs> the yeah. third note, is, a, is an up pick. Right. So you're keeping that consistent up, down. Yeah. With the right hand. At half speed. At half speed, exactly. Yeah. So it's that. So you want to keep all the notes even, yep. and we have a little bit of gain on the guitars, and that helps. It always helps to have just, I think, a little bit of gain on yeah, yourself. Not natural totally compression. clean, yeah. although totally clean would be a good discipline for this. Because you really have to, to make sure that, that every hammer-on is the same volume as every picture. Exactly. So I like this exercise. It's a speed building exercise. Right. Yeah. And it's another one that sort of really helps with that alternate picking. It yeah. helps with that sort of, yeah. you're doing alternate picking, but you're changing strings. And it's a cool, and it's plus it's a little flashy rock thing to do if you get a moment 
And it's musical too, we can show how you can actually use it right away in a composition. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So I first saw this back in, in that old uh, Paul Gilbert intense yeah. rock. He's the uh, best. And that's, and that's such yeah. a good DVD, both yeah. parts of it. And yeah. you can find it up on YouTube, but obviously support artists however you can. If you can buy it and help yeah. support him, then you should. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a really simple one, and it's one of the first things he does. It's just focusing on the, the top two strings, first okay. of all. You can do it on any two collection of strings. Say we're in the key of... What's your favorite key? G. G major. Okay, yeah. so we're in... Not G my favorite, but <laughs> for, for today. Okay. For now, it's my favorite. Right, so in G major, so because it's rock music, we're in E minor. Uh, <laughs> on the, the, the 12th, 13th, 14th fret of that B string, okay. we're going to alternate pick, starting with a downstroke. Down, up, down. And then we're going to go up to that 12th fret Got on it. the E string. Yeah. And it's it's just all alternate picking, just through that cycle, back and forth. And it's just one of those things that's weird when you start doing it, but then it just falls into your finger so naturally after a little while. So... <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, and then you can... This is something I did with Steve Stein a few weeks ago when he was he was helping me with, with uh, speed techniques. Yeah, so if you want to reference that video, it's the one at speed, uh, speed picking techniques with Steve Stein. Yeah. And you can throw, it's something that Paul shows, you can throw in just a little variation on that. So... So you're going for it, but you're not totally nailing it, and that's right. the key to all these exercises. Exactly. You need to nail the timing. You need to nail the connection between notes. Right. You need to nail the volume of each note. Uh, but you need to reach, and in order to reach, you actually have to not nail stuff. So it's a paradox, right. and it's a constant dance between, yeah. okay, I'm not nailing it, I'll back down, I'll nail it, I'll push forward, I'll not nail it, I'll back down. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 I demonstrated exactly a great example of what <laughs> not to do. No, so. you, no, it's, it's, you've got to do both. Yeah, you have yeah, to do yeah. both. Because, you know, you move, move forward, push the envelope, come back, retreat, move forward. Exactly. You just keep raising the level of, I think Joe Walsh said it, it's raising the level of suck every day. <laughs> yeah. Suck. And you can do it with any pair of strings, you can make it bluesy, you can do the, you know, the, the four, uh... Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so let's get yeah. musical. So this is where I get to become a student on YouTube because most of my speed is left hand speed. <laughs> I'm proud of that. I, I, you know, that's what I do. You should be, yeah. So when I when I pick every note, it's mm -hmm. a lot slower. <laughs> but this thing can be very musical. So let's right. let's show that. So it can be musical. What I'm doing is I'm just playing on the top two strings. And I'm in G major, moving down, trying it at half speed and at full speed. To me, it almost sounds more musical at half speed. Yeah. Play it better with all this picking the whole time. Yeah. It'll sound better at double speed or just as good. Yeah. And it's a great uh, sort of vehicle for better learning like, horizontal movement. Okay. Yeah, teaching you the whole guitar neck all the way up and down. Yeah. And you just have to know the G scale on each string. Go down to the B string, do the same thing. Start anywhere. Yeah. Three, four. 
<laughs> musical. You're keeping that yeah. in. Aiden, this one is musical also, and it doesn't really require much thinking with the right hand. In fact, when we started to actually think about the right hand, we thought, we don't want to think about the right hand because it's just <laughs> kind of impossible to think about yeah, the right hand. So exactly. you either down or up or whatever you want. You can do music fingers. You're right. And that sounded good. I saw you do that. But it's basically about spreading your hand all the way across the neck. Right. Playing all the notes in this in C major in this particular situation. Yep. And uh, and, and it's the spread. Yeah. So I'm going to play some chords for you. Uh, Count us in. Uh, two, three, four. <laughs> Nicely done. So this is basically like a string skipping arpeggio thing. Um, I, I first learned this from Dave Hill, who's a great guitarist okay, cool. out here in LA. Um, and it just it just focuses on every other string. So it's a hammer on, pull off, string skipping type exercise. Great. So we're starting off on C, and we're just working our way through the harmonized scale. So you know C major, D minor, yeah. E minor. Yeah. So we're going to start off on C. So we're going to hit that that one there. And then we're going to go to the E on the seventh fret, Great. and that's your major third. And then we're skipping out the five because we're skipping out that string. But now we're going on to the G string, and we're hitting that fourth fret, hammering on to that fifth fret, and then up to the top E string, and we're hitting that G on the third fret, and then we're going up to that to the B. And so, and in total, that goes. Okay, so you come back down by pulling off, you go yeah. up by ham hammering on, mm -hmm. and come down by pulling off. And then up to D minor. Mm -hmm. Now when we get up here, this is where I, sh I kind of scuffled a little mm -hmm. bit earlier just getting the, the odd ones. When it gets up to the diminished, it's kind of an yeah. odd one. I love that sound, though. Yeah, I love too. that sort of gnarly sound. So it trains you to see the C major scale mm -hmm. on the A string and on the G string and on the E string. to keep everything even, smooth, connected. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And the more understanding you have of the harmonized major scale, just the, the more all-around uh, you know, versatility you have as a musician. Well, and the more melodic and musical you can be. So play Absolutely. some chords for me, and I'll try and do a musical adaptation of this. So let's jump around a little bit. C major work for you? Yeah. Two, three, four. <laughs> Absolutely. And the cool thing about it is, is that because it's all harmonized major scale, just right there, we were, I guess, technically playing in D Dorian, but yes, it was all yeah. just C major. Yeah. I'm sneaky can... that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I turned everything into Dorian. Yeah. <laughs> Why not?